Hey guys, Whistleblower22 here. You may know of a recent story from the folks at Plebit exposing Governor Andrew Cuomo's very clearly defined nipple piercings. Pretty open and shut case, right? Not so fast. The real meat of this story began when neocon shill and confirmed twig-armed beta male Steven Crowder had this to say. Right there. The well, bars. that might not be nipple rings. And he may have line, pulled out nipple say. hair, yeah. and it has those little, like, goose bumps. Come on, Shouter. It's so obvious that only a solid material could make that kind of impression through cloth. So why would he pretend otherwise? Unless he has something to hide. Unless Crowder not only has twig arms, but he also has a Prince Albert. Hey, this, this, my wife, hey, this, this, my wife, hey, this, this, my wife. Thanks for watching, guys. Huge announcement really quick. Uh, I've just been signed with an MCN recently, so prepare yourselves for truth. Whistler out. <laughs>
Oh, Lord. That is, a, it's not fun. He's like, that. I can't hydrate. No, it's. <laughs> Uh, oh. Well, these twins are like little petri dishes, you know. Oh, oh yeah, blame the, the kids. They Come stick on. the fist in the mouth because they're teething, and then they throw that in your mouth, and you have Lou Gehrig's disease. Yeah, that I young. Don't, I don't think that's how it works. The young boy sneaking out at night. No one knows where he's going. <laughs> I'm one. I got to be free. <laughs> it's true, though. For the first year of their lives, you yeah. just you get horribly sick. Yes. Yeah. And then you slowly get used to it. Yeah. That's all it is. That's, that's all it is. Yeah. You you don't actually become well. No, you just get, you just just get used sick. to being sick. Yeah, you never, you're not yeah. well ever Different again. Different degrees of sickness. Yeah, yeah, it's a terrible idea to have kids. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's wonderful. No, it's the best thing ever. If I it mean, is. if you if you like sleeping or being healthy, mm. it's not the best idea. Yeah, I wouldn't prize sleep. No, no, that's no, a bad no. idea. Do you sleep well? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dave, Dave, no. I didn't is, sleep well before kids. <laughs> that's true. I, night terrors? No. <laughs> the old sidelines? <laughs> Coach. <laughs> Extracurricular activities, Dave. <laughs> Rubbing the goods. Get out there and show them your meat. <laughs> it's national coming out, Dave. Oh, jeez. That's Asia. not you. That was the that was, Washington. Uh, yeah. What, they used to New be York called Giants the Redskins. No. Oh, no, it was the Giants? Yeah. They were playing the Washington. No. no. Foreskins. No. You're, no, yeah, they're the playing, four, they're James playing the Green Bay Packers. Oh, were which they? Could also be its well, own joke. there you go, there too. They were getting ready to pack them. Well, best Packers Ahoy. on the planet. <laughs> well, today's National Coming Out Day, and to celebrate, uh, well, I guess uh, Madonna is gay now. I don't know. Wow. She's 64 and has six children. Uh huh. She and looks like she's 94. She does. I know. Yeah. She's, uh, I'd say she hasn't been uh, uh, sought after since 94. <laughs> <laughs> the wall hit hard. Yeah. <laughs> the video is a little strange, but it's, it's you know, it's, it's nothing you haven't seen around the office, you know, at least here. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Hey, if I miss the shot, you gotta kiss me. Okay. He is a good kisser. <laughs> wow, it's almost like he wanted it. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Bad herpes. <laughs> what? That's the problem. <laughs> don't pretend. Bad herpes. I don't know why Darius would agree to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did say okay quickly, didn't he? Yeah, he was like, oh, finally. <laughs> I've been waiting on this moment. Did you read my application? <laughs> I've asked you to play beer pong many times. I, I want to kiss the partially Asian boy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a joke. I'm doing it ironically. Yeah. Yeah, it's a joke. Let's yeah, do it yeah, on yeah. coming out day. I wrote that. That's when it's it pretend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we got to wear shirts? This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and in another coming out story, Tulsi yeah. Gabbard made a huge announcement this morning. She's officially leaving the Democratic Party. I can no longer remain in today's Democratic Party. Yeah. It's under the complete control of an elitist cabal of warmongers who are driven by cowardly wokeness who divide us by racializing every issue and stoking anti-white racism who actively work to undermine our God-given freedoms that's that are enshrined in that's our real. Constitution, who are hostile to people of faith and spirituality, who demonize the police but protect criminals at the expense of law-abiding Americans, who believe in open borders, who weaponize the national security state to go after their political opponents, and above all, who are dragging us ever closer to nuclear war. Now, I believe in a government that's of the people, by the people, and for the people. Unfortunately, today's Democratic Party does not. Instead, it stands for a government that is of, by, and for the powerful elite. Now, I'm calling on my fellow common sense, independent-minded Democrats How many to join me in leaving the Democratic Ooh, Party. There's four. If you can no longer <laughs> stomach the direction that the so-called woke Democratic Party ideologues are taking our country, and I invite you to join me.
If she were a president, she'd be Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> she certainly would. I like. I mean, I get what you're saying. I like it. I think it's 100. Yeah. But where do you think she's going? I don't know. I think she's a lady of the people. You know, she's got her Jay Leno shirt and her Val Kilmer Willow hair. Okay. But she's hot. <laughs> But she also looks like a drunk storm? bus driver. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you got that. That works. She throws that little gray streak in for me, Dave. Yeah, yeah like she had absolutely. a little cuckoo yeah. bird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's to let you know she's. She knows I'm, I'm not in the Madonna camp. That's right. Yeah. I'm past my prime. I like it, though. I like that she's not only leaving, she's also calling on fellow Democrats who maybe are more centrist. Like I said, I don't know that there's a ton of them out there, but them to leave the party as well oh i think if you've lived in any major city and looked outside you're probably somewhere in the (laughs) middle then you would have to admit that you're wrong and that you've been wrong and that this that you see is your responsibility because you voted wrong and i don't know that people are willing to do that i've admitted that i'm wrong a lot (laughs) well she checked all the right boxes though i mean she hit them all hard yeah those are all areas they have to defend en masse and i hope they at the very least are we talking about this go to the libertarian party Yep. I'm totally fine with you stealing votes from the Democrats and just going yeah. to another party and saying, well, we're not going to vote for these guys at least. Well, I think if you want to change the platform of your party to not be lunatics, it makes yeah. sense to yeah. go, yeah, we don't really want to burn down everything and yeah, 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 steal yeah. votes. We'd like to not be those people. And mail uh, ballots to people. On accident. Yeah, she is pretty <laughs> libertarian, but they don't pull from the Democrats, though. They tend to, yeah, yeah, they pulled it from Republicans. They're freedom-loving folks. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is if Democrats leave, if Democrat voters and Democrat politicians leave the party and go to Libertarian, they're going to pull Democrat votes to the Libertarian Party, which I'm fine with because they're, they're not going to get enough for a long time to be a contender. I'm sorry. It's just it is. Mm. It is what it is, right? I don't even know if they're going to ever be able to contend. But at least they'll pull votes away from Democrats. If if Democrat voters are leaving with them to go Libertarian because they're like, oh, I can't be a Republican because that's fascism. Well, yeah. <laughs> and she could go independent too, no? She could. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Okay, yeah, do yeah. that. That's I mean, fine too. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Whatever just, you want to do. Yeah. yeah as, just, long, <laughs> as long as you're not one of them demon crats anymore. Yeah, just don't vote for the biology skeleton that's in there now. <laughs> the gender bread yeah. <laughs> person. Yeah, the, the whatever is left of the guy whose one eye doesn't blink. <laughs> <laughs> he's a mess. He, he, I can't. He's not even a person. I'm sorry, but it's a million just dollar like, man, I don't, Dave. I, where's the light? On a budget. How do I, I, I fight people named <laughs> the name Skittle Flakes? Skittle All right, Flakes. grab them. All right, Jeff. Wrangle them. Uh, go ahead, comment. Uh, what What's your speculation? What do you think she should do? Not she, but do you think other people should follow suit? What group should they join? Maybe the clan. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Don't want I, that either. I just thought it'd be funny to say that. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. It's a bad one. Bad. It could be the black clan. Well, they're also bad. All, I think all of those are bad. Yes. Well, there's a black clan. Mm-hmm. They were in Lansing, Michigan. They killed uh, Malcolm X's dad. Really? Yeah. They were the black clans. One. Wow. They weren't black. They just wore black. Oh. Yeah. Well, see, that's a plot twist. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, they they were like, we want to do stuff at night, and this white bed sheets kind of give it away. <laughs> Jeez. So what they, idiots. I don't know. They, they're all stupid. Yes. Yeah, that's right. I know some of you are watching. I've seen this show. All right. <laughs> it's a live show, speaking of which, Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern. You can watch us on Rumble, Podcasts, Mug Club. Those are all of the preferred platforms if you want to go to any of those. Or check us out on YouTube if you want. I guess, while we're still on it <laughs> and not being paid by them for giving them a bunch of views. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. Support YouTube. They're great. <laughs> Wonderful nope. people. Yeah. You know what Tulsi Gabbard might be good on? There's a shout out app. Have you ever heard of that? I have. Yeah, it's a good app. I hear a, a Gerald Morgan may be getting on there too. Oh, Gerald Morgan should get on shout out. That's where you can get anybody they can wish you like happy birthday. I could wish you a happy coming out day. You just would have to pay me for it. I'd be like, happy coming out day, Gerald. I feel like you're going to do that anyway. I know. I'm going to send like, one hey, to you. I paid $1,000. Wow, that's weird. I'm going to pay, <laughs> I'm going to buy myself yeah. one.
control. Let the chips do dance it. like nobody's watching. <laughs> I think you always do that, right? Are dance. we clear? Did we? Are we good? Did we save the day? Yes, nay. Somebody? I don't know. Hello? Anybody? I didn't hear. I think we missed it. Oh, well, good. I got it right away. Well, good. Yeah, got it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. All right. We're back on. <laughs> I didn't say it. anything. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> With Dave. It's my fault. I'll take responsibility because I didn't use gender correctly. Yeah. And I want to. I don't want to alienate anybody. No. No third rail. You just no. don't know who you're alienating. No 1970s you know, know, car parts at all. None. None. All shall be lit. Let's just move yes. on. Yeah, we should be good, but good to go. <laughs> yeah. Good. Thank you, Token Allen. I appreciate he didn't it. didn't sound very confident. No, he looks like he's sweating. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like it's the last day he's working here. Yes, he looks, <laughs> he's, like he's drinking a cup of gravy. Warm jacket over here. Yeah, it's yeah. hot. <laughs> Real hot. Yeah, and he just nervous. kissed the guy a minute ago, so yeah. it's kind of, you know. <laughs> That's fine. We'll lose all of our no money from YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, not that we want to. Yeah. Which is, they, they should pay him. That would be. Really anyway. Uh, there's some leaked racist audio. I don't know if you guys have heard about this. Yeah, uh, it's from sad. Gerald Morgan's car. He's yelling in traffic. <laughs> That's also not true. <laughs> oh, Dave. Oh, it's, sorry. I just am on fire today. The mayor of Birmingham, Alabama, uh, resigned, actually, after audio of a very, very racist remarks uh, were leaked to the media. Mm. We have a picture. Oh, right wow. here. This yeah, is this white. is the white lady yeah. in question right here. And yeah. uh, it's Mayor Nancy Smith and Deputy Mayor Bubba Johnson were recorded comparing their colleague's black son to an ancestry. Accessory. Accessory. <laughs> yes. Well, the ancestry right. they also they did. They were discussing that. Yeah, they were discussing the ancestry right. too. Yeah. My mistake. But yes, they, called, they did compare him to an accessory, which is a little weird. Uh, they were speaking also in Swedish, the whitest language possible. Mm -hmm. uh, Smith also called the boy an appa, which means monkey, oh which, as we all know, is very, very offensive. And racist. Uh, yes. And even though Paul Mooney would tell you white people look more like monkeys because they have straight hair. And to put icing on the cake, she even had racist comments about Birmingham's Puerto Rican population. These are actual quotes. I see a lot of little short, dark people. Oh, wow. I was like, I don't know what village they come from, how they got here. Mm. And then they also said ten feos, which means they're ugly. Oh my gosh. Well, we actually uh, oh. fact check. Yeah, I, I think. Fact check on that. A little, uh, clean that up a little bit. Not the right. So, yeah, the rest of the information is below. It's actually. It oh, yeah. it, I see. It was not a white. Oh, no. Okay. Right, oh, right, I'm right. sorry. It was a Los Angeles City Council president named uh, Nuri Martinez. It was in no way a white lady. Okay. Yes. No. My bad. Okay. Yeah. It was a, a, a lady, a, a Latinx. Yeah. Here's, Here's the, the actual audio. Yeah. Go get the airport from his little brother, mm -hmm. that little bitch bonnet. I go, I go, what is with the bonnet? What is with bonnet? And I said, bonnet thinks he's a black. That guy don't think he's black. I go, he thinks he's black. Scooters. I call the same thing. Scooters. He goes, why are they so close? No, I guess. Maybe he's from Massachusetts. This kid, the one here, that's kidding. He's black. Yeah. 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 No, he's like, he's he's during Black History Month, he lleva al council. He lo pone acá en el, remember? He looks like, it's an uh -huh. accessory. When we do the Elmo K parade. Just like, just like, like when, when. Like accessory? Well, you know how Puerto Ricans hate parades. Yes. It's like the oddest thing. It's like black and brown on this float. And then there's this, this white guy with this little black kid who's misbehaved. Este niño has no, he's, they're not doing that. They're not doing, they're not doing the, the kid is bouncing off the effing walls on the floor, practically <laughs> tipping it over. There's nothing you can do to control him. And I'm just like, uh, oh my God, I'm over here trying to parent this kid. I'm like, you can't do that. I said, no. Wow. Yeah, compared to the yeah, kid to a handbag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Essentially. Saying he was all for show. He's an accessory. And crapped on an entire uh, ethnic group, which yeah. was fun. And then the worst part of it was that she called the black boy a monkey. Yeah, this is actually her photo. Yeah. Oh. Go ahead and hit the oh. like button. Uh, pretty hot. 
I mean, awful person. I'm not. I'm not going to say that she's a good person. Yeah. No, but, but I, mean, I mean, we're told every everything everything that we hear is that white people are racist against black people, and that's yes. that's why we chose Birmingham, Alabama. We're like, all right, let's pick the deep south and make it look like you know white Jennifer Garner. We'll put that on there. No, this is Hispanic people in Los Angeles. Well, I have I have news. You do. Every group can be a little bit racist. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 Dave. Only white people can be racist. I'm sorry. Let me re- rephrase that. Mm-hmm. Only white people can be racist. Mm. <laughs> no, there it doesn't feel right. No. It doesn't feel so. right. No, it's not right. Yeah. It's because this one time I was getting hit with a crowbar and they said honky. <laughs> <laughs> were I mean, you her- honking? <laughs> <laughs> her comments were almost unintelligible, even with the, the transcript there. Yeah. I mean, I, it yeah, makes she, sense of it. But she definitely didn't think she was being recorded. No. <laughs> she, was, she was doing Spanglish. Going yes, a little bit yes. little mix, yeah. which it happens was, a lot. Yeah. Well, especially in L.A., there's always a little bit of that. Yeah. Well, and if you want to get your keys made, just send your friend Sebastian, who speaks fluent Spanish, mm-hmm. and he'll get them for free. <laughs> they just hook each other what? up. <laughs> it's like the Eddie Murphy sketch where he becomes the white guy, and they just he gets free stuff. He's yeah. like, what, why, why? He's like, I'd like to buy this newspaper. He's like, well, just take it. Yeah. There's nobody around. You're white. Just take it. <laughs> yeah. Spanish people just do that. It's called white like me. They're just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I don't, I don't blame them. I think it's great to have you know a, a community like free, that. Free stuff helps. So the yeah. person that makes the keys owns the key shop. Usually they own the 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 truck in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't speak of the permits. <laughs> I thought maybe they were stealing from Walmart. And yeah, giving well, keys to friends. Maybe. <laughs> no, they're usually hanging out outside of the Home Depot. Okay, I that's like not even being racist. I'm just serious. That's usually where I get are better. What? When you get those free deals, just don't ask where it comes from. Just take the free. Yeah, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah, it's free. Yeah, it's totally free. It should be fine. Or you tip them a buck. <laughs> Such a lazy tipper. <laughs> I am a great tipper. A buck? I tipped uh, a, a lot. I tipped fifty dollars on a forty dollar bill the other day, Let's... just to see the smile on the waitress's face. You know why? <laughs> because people are not good to people. Read Charles Bukowski. I agree with that poem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whenever I do that, my credit card company says sends me a an email yeah. and a text. Did you mean to do this? Yeah. They showed the way just getting dragged out of her house in front of her kids. Yeah. Are you like, this generous? <laughs> they show her in the back of a squad car. Is this the lady who took your Amex? <laughs> so that would be a great ploy to get somebody fired oh, just gosh. way over tip and then be like, no, I didn't tip that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they put zeros on that. Yeah. Ah, oh, they yeah. added stuff. <laughs> well, I meant, I, I, I meant cash and by... By waitress, I meant hooker. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about. But there are. Let's talk. Well, I mean, blacks and Mexicans. They do kind of. I mean, we've all talked. We, let's can, talk yeah. about Menace to Society, for example. In that movie, yeah. they drop off uh, the cops. Drop drop off the black guy in the Mexican neighborhood, in you know, amongst the cholos, and to get his ass kicked. Let nature take its course. Indeed. And in what they thought was going to happen. Uh, yeah. Let's see some stuff about blacks and Mexicans. Listen to me. Oh, yeah. This whole f-ing thing is like changing of the guard. Back in the day, all these neighborhoods used to be black. And what are they now? Mexicans. Exactly. There used to be chicken stands on the corner. Now there's f-ing taco stands on every corner. It's real s***. If we don't come together, we're going to be some extinct s- pretty soon. What an odd Geico commercial. That's weird. <laughs> Was that mayhem? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you in good hands? <laughs> the new 2023 Chrysler Caravan. <laughs> the AR-15. Fit in five of your homies and twist their caps back. <laughs> I- <laughs> Gosh. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, they, well, I mean, that's always been, though. It has. That's not really racism. That's yeah, just, just gang warfare. Gang territory. But they, the, the, what the black guy was saying was kind of racist, but it was really stereotypical. How about that? There used to be chicken stands on every corner. Yeah. And it's now a, they're taco stands. I feel like the beginning of the sentence is racist. Yes. <laughs> He's like, I don't like the diversity. Oh. 
He's like, I, I, I want to go back to just the chicken. <laughs> well, becoming extinct is is pretty telling. <laughs> yeah, it's that. Yeah. yeah, it's not really. I don't know. That seems racist in the sense of you just want the food that benefits you. That's true. It's like if you're white and you're like, I just want the cucumber sandwich shop. No, nobody wants. It's not that about day. the food, oh, Dave. No. Oh, nobody wants. Is that, that not it? No. I would rather go extinct than only have cucumber sandwiches. <laughs> I know. <laughs> or uh, what about fish and chips? Yes, yeah, so, I can deal with that, but that'll kill you too. I mean, over time. Well, yeah, it's not a bad way. Long John Silver's won't go to those neighborhoods. No, <laughs> oh no, there's never a fried food area in a bad neighborhood. No, we can all attest to that. Yes. Hmm. Or a liquor anyway. store. <laughs> oh, anyway. <laughs> or, or check cashing. No, no, I've no, never no. seen one. Or not pawn, a or pawn, pawn shop. shop to be found. Yeah, that's nice. I pay. Yeah, I made four hundred dollars this week, and what do you give me for it? Two thirty. Great. Thank That's you. fantastic. Yes, I love mm. cashing my check with you, sir. Yeah, this is just enough to buy a 40 and a gun. You used to be able to find a good bail bondsman down there, but... Yeah. Don't stay. yeah. You don't need them anymore. <laughs> you just That's go right. there and They're they extinct. go... You go, what's bail? And they go, nothing. Oh! And you go, it's all right. system. <laughs> I like it. Oh, well, this is pretty good. I'm going to go do the crime I just did again. <laughs> and by the way, sir, we just want to let you know, you won't be arrested if you only steal $999 worth of goods. Just the more you know tip for you not to come back and yep. be let go again. And that's why I go to Walgreens. Don't want to inconvenience you. <laughs> I just take nine hundred dollars worth of socks. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the socks. <laughs> <Just> all <laughs> the, socks. <laughs> the security guard. You which... probably could take all the socks at Walgreens and be like, "What you gonna do about it?" Well, it would take multiple trips. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, they don't have that many socks. Yeah, no. I'd be wearing a lot of Hanes Herways. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep missing the trash can. I guess yeah. I'm still gay. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, we racism. <laughs> what we're saying is racism does exist in America, and it, it exists amongst everybody. And oh, I think if we're all going to come together, we have to admit that and go back to making fun of each other. Yes, it's better to make fun of each other than to be racist towards one another. Right. Of course. You grew up in a, in a, a fairly black neighborhood, yes? I, well, you know, when I was growing up, it wasn't as... I went to school w yeah. with mostly black kids, but uh, no, the neighborhood where I grew up is now entirely black. Mm. Yeah. And I think you've told me some of the highest gang activity in the country. Now. Oh, east side of Detroit? Wasn't that way then, though. Yeah. In the 90s, it was big time, too. Yeah, it's good. It, well, no, it's not getting better. <laughs> <laughs> Only that because fewer people live there now. Yeah, I guess yeah. technically... <laughs> Dave, the house I grew up in sold for eight thousand dollars. That's pretty good. The other two. Did homes you buy the, it? No, the yeah, other two no. homes in the street are free for squatters' rights. If you wow. pull the boards off the windows and oh, turn wow. back the. Who weed. is coming with eight grand and like? <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm gonna do this. <laughs> like, like how, how? How do you like your new house? Oh, it was great. I, I went in and four pit bulls ate my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like her anyway. Cause well, they, it's because they ran out of rats. Things. Yeah. What'd you paint it with? Blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The what? blood of my friends. Yes. <laughs> Never have to paint it again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a nice roof. What is it? Oh, it's a, there's a tree growing through it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Nature. It's mm. a wonderful thing. When, yeah. when we were in uh, Royal Oak for the show, I took Johnny Boy down, you know, west side. Yeah. Off of Woodward below maybe six mile or so. He said, I saw Ukraine. Last night on the news, it wasn't this bad. Yeah. No. It, was, it had just been bombed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Entire halves of buildings missing, just caved in, burned out. Oh, totally. Because <laughs> those were all bombed, and then they didn't fix it. They didn't fix it. They, they were like, ah, it's fine. Nature will take its course. We'll, yeah. just, we'll just let this become urban farmland. Yeah. That's a good idea. I like urban farmers. Isn't that great? <laughs> I like when you see them on the news, and they're just holding their bleeding faces, going, I don't know why the gang members stabbed me and took all my pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> it's great when you have a high rise with a tree growing on the top floor mm -hmm. straight up it's oh it's just, amazing just yeah. accumulated muck yeah and a tree the seed got planted and it grew a major tree it's like your own little yeah. tree fort yeah. how it's many years did that take to grow <laughs> yeah. that tree in yeah. a, what used to be well, a high rise uh, business i'm gonna uh, guess roughly from the late 60s yeah. <laughs> just, if i had to venture a guess uh. good times if you ever want to just see a nice scenic area, go there. There are some nice parts of it. Mm. And by that, I mean there aren't. Now, <laughs> speaking of nice things and mistakes, uh, PayPal made a big mistake. I don't know if yeah. you guys saw that. Oops. Big mistake. Mm -hmm. You hear me, PayPal? <laughs> big mistake. Big mistake. Huge. Last week, a new policy released by PayPal said the payment services... Blech, 
See, I do that all the time. I already know the story, and then I read this stuff. I I don't need to read it. I know it. Oh. (laughs) So let me do this again. Tell it to us, Dave. Yeah, but you didn't drop that part. Last week, a new policy released by PayPal said the payment service, bah, giant, <laughs> would fine users $2,500 for expressing misinformation. For uh, huh. if you say you like Trump or if Gerald is straight. Oh, <laughs> Don't take your anger out on me. I know, you're right. It's not your fault. I can't read, right? <laughs> you're just bad with letters. It's a, it's a school for children who can't read good and do other stuff good, too. <laughs> really do any, anything. I like the way he slated himself like yeah. we could do another take. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. I wish I did. Slap his hand, slapped his hand on the, on the desk. I read all the time, but then when it comes to a prompter, and I also have LASIK, so there's no excuse. <laughs> really and yeah. I perform in front of a live audience all the time. 2015 vision. Yeah, for some reason. like, Well, you know what it is? I got. I went to the people that did LASIK for the Detroit Lions. That's the problem. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so they did it almost good. Yeah, exactly. Like They did it just enough to where I miss every catch. <laughs> Did you want the lineman or did you want yes. the wide receiver? <laughs> God save. Do you want the quarterback who throws into the stands? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, you don't want to uh, express inf- misinformation, of course. And PayPal, uh, these uh, prohibited activities include the sending, posting, or publication of any messages, content, or materials that promote misinformation or present. <laughs> A risk to user safety or well-being. Well-being. I love the well-being part. It's like, oh, let's just use the most broad terms that we can possibly use. Misinformation. Okay, who defines what misinformation is? Thanks. Got it. Because everything that we've seen from the media about misinformation turns out to be, you know, wrong. But then well-being of individuals. What I, I bought an auction item on eBay for a price that you didn't like. And I said, ha ha, great deal. And you're like, ow. Oh! That hurts. <laughs> That's not good for my well-being. Yeah, of course. It's like I don't know what snowflake I'm going to offend on the other side. Yeah, Come I on. bought a I bought a 15 year old George Foreman grill and it burned my house down. <laughs> See, there you go. It's terrible for your well-being. It was six dollars. <laughs> I bought Beanie Babies right before they crashed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I have a whole bunch of well beanies all over the house. <laughs> nice collection of stuffed animals. I'm yeah. an idiot. Oh, that's good. I love those people. Also, you can comment, <laughs> what do you those. think this means? Because uh, yeah. we don't. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, what's something that, what's some misinformation you think that could be promoted? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. How Maybe. are they monitoring you for that policy? Right. Dave, uh, you said you use Venmo and you, you tell people. <laughs> I write I write this. ridiculous stuff on Venmo. Yeah. I could just pull out my Venmo <laughs> right now and read like the last six things I sent someone. And five of them would get us banned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because I never write it seriously. That's why it was funny when they're like, the IRS is going to look at Venmo. I'm like, well, that's sex crimes now. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I'm definitely going to prison. <laughs> you know, because it's... <laughs> Any compensation you send, yeah. you put a note. Yeah, I put a note in, and if Sex there's crime. an emoji that's close enough to resemble what it was, like if there's like... Then you'll use yeah, that too. Like two pumpkins facing each other, a sausage and money. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Which I think everybody does. If you scroll through Venmo, there's nothing real on there. Yeah. It's just people like... <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> That's awesome. It's like you paid you paid your friend one hundred and twelve dollars for beating an old lady to death. Well, uh, yeah, that's about right. Yeah, you are under oath, sir. I yeah, did I did not. Except I did do that. Yes. No, it's a comedy. It's just joking around. You yeah. find this amusing? I oh, do. Yeah. This is not. You find beating Absolutely. old ladies amusing? <laughs> well, hypothetically. I mean, I don't really, but I think it'd be funny to pay someone for it <laughs> yes. on, on a pay public it. service. I mean, <laughs> and only pay 112 bucks. I mean, come on, that's yeah. comedy. I think having a receipt of killing a woman is funny. You're saying I can't write that off as a business expense? <laughs> Just presenting that at your audit. One of the 87,000 uh, IRS agents potentially showing yeah. up at my door. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So you paid $500 to your opening act for a taint waxing? That's right. <laughs> it's a specialized service. Usually they cost 1000 Got a deal. 
a bring your own candle stain waxing pie. I'm not even kidding. It says these things. <laughs> so now you're going to take Matt down with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, yeah that's why I'm not going to say his name. He's having a baby right now. Is he? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's this week, uh, any minute now. So, you know, he's in the, his wife's in the hospital. Actually, uh, he'll have to read about it because he's going to be arrested. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, yeah, I was going to send him door. a monetary gift as well to say congratulations, you're having a baby. Uh-oh. Well, I wouldn't say that in no. it. You would say something else. Yeah. I would be like, I hope you didn't pick a gender, you fascist. <laughs> but nothing about uh, the race of the baby. No, no nothing no, at all. Nothing. No, no, no. No, we don't mention that. Well. It's uh, it's not his. <laughs> so anyway. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> but PayPal saying the whole thing was uh, just an honest mistake. Oh. PayPal feeling the ripple effect from this today. Its stocks taking a significant dip. Last week, the company expanded its use policy to include prohibiting customers from sending, posting, or publishing any mm -hmm. messages, content, or materials that promote misinformation. It included a $2,500 fine for each violation. PayPal's former president like criticized tent. the move, <laughs> along with company co-founder Elon Musk. Today, a PayPal spokesman clarified the move, saying PayPal is not fining people for misinformation, and this language was never intended to be inserted in our policy. <laughs> We're sorry for the confusion this has caused. Okay, look at look at it again, okay? The, the, yeah. This language was never intended to be inserted in our policy. We're sorry for the confusion <laughs> this has caused. Hmm. You said we're going to charge you $2,500 for misinformation. It's not confusing. I mean, it's confusing what misinformation is, but the fine was pretty... Uh, Clear. Yeah, pretty specific. Pretty, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And by Clear the way... Clear as a bell, the radio. The language was never intended to be inserted. Oh! What you could have said is we never had any intention to fine people for what they say on our platform when they're paying people. Yeah, also, <laughs> do you have a legal right to even do that? I don't know. I guess it's a private company. They can probably try and use that. But aren't you for dipping it? into the bank of another private company and well, just being like, that's ours now? Well, it's kind of like what the banks do anyway. Yeah, it's overdraft true. fees and stuff. They yeah. just like take your money. I yeah, they know. Maybe just don't spend money you don't have. But hey, you know, neither way. Uh, but that that it would have been clear to say that. I think what they are really saying is, <laughs> we didn't know that you guys read that stuff. Like I, I thought it was just going to slip past everybody. They just yeah. got caught. That's it. Yeah, because a bunch of people were like twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah. No. And then they told everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the last person to just read this policy? <laughs> right. it's, a, it's such a gross amount of money that others found out. Yeah. What is this, like a goof that somebody thought would be funny and it <laughs> made it through? <laughs> who would have, who, just who wouldn't notice that? Yeah, bang up job, PayPal. <laughs> Somebody's fired. You'd be like, did I pay someone for uh, a used Toyota? <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall this transaction. That 2500 bucks you took, what, what was it that I said? Yeah. I mean, I realized that I, I sent it to Matt to eat McGriddles off his chest. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> but that really happened. So that's not misinformation. No, I guess with PayPal, I'll be dead serious about the things that I do. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, it's still gonna get you put yeah. in jail. Do you have PayPal? Did you? Uh, I do. Yeah, I don't use it much. No. no, you're like an older generation. I'm not trying to be insulting. I'm I I didn't get PayPal until a few years ago when I was like selling stuff at shows, and then I still claimed everything because I I'm afraid of. Uh, the Earth. Yeah. I used some other cash app recently. I forget the name of it. Uh, Zell. Square. No, I use Zell all the time. Yeah. Uh, Square. Lamo. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I want to know why every female news anchor has to put on that voice. Why, why is that? It is a good point. It's like, yeah, hey, yeah. do you want to have sex with El Capone? <laughs> she's, she's telling the story about PayPal. And yeah. She's, it's, it's nasally and it's, I guess they're trying to be authoritative. Yeah. Yes. Hey, it's me. I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the scoop. And the parts to go with it. Yes. And the parts to go with it. <laughs> and I've got double D's and two scoops for you. <laughs> so stupid. Honey, welcome home. Hey. Did you like have an a... afternoon delight? <laughs> oh, no. No. I'll pass. Sky rockets in flight. <laughs> I'm going to wear my news anchor outfit. I'll be the news anchor. You'll be the weatherman. I'll throw to you. This just in. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
In completely unrelated news, <laughs> this is definitely not representative of a trend. The Colorado Secretary of State's <laughs> office accidentally sent 30,000 postcards to non-citizens, encouraging them to register to vote. Democratic Secretary of State Jenna Griswold's office sent 30,000 non-citizens an invitation to go register to vote. Those folks are not eligible to vote. <laughs> Mailers printed in English and Spanish encourage people to register and included instructions on how to do that. The mailers also listed the eligibility requirements, things like being a U.S. citizen and a <laughs> resident of Colorado. The Secretary of State's office blamed the bad mailing list on a database error. The people who got the mailers <laughs> sure. should not Bull. be able to register to vote if they tried because they wouldn't have the should right not. kind of driver's license or social security number. The Secretary of State's office says it will now send out a second mailer for the same group of 30,000 who got the first mailer, reiterating that citizenship requirement. Hit the like button. Helps with our algorithm. And also, uh, yeah. what? That one. Uh, uh, the, uh, don't use the gun. All right. <laughs> don't hit that. I, I, I love that guy saying, like, they shouldn't be able to vote because they won't most likely have the right form of identification. I'm like, right. are, are any of these people in, uh, non-citizens? Okay, I understand non-citizens right. can be here legally, but are any portion of these maybe illegal? Colorado? Yeah. And you have an address? Yeah. Why do, Go get them. Why do 30,000 of them have addresses? <laughs> <laughs> and the people who receive the mailer yeah. should get out. This, yeah. is, this is probably a warning. Undly. It's great because the mailer's already filled out for you. <laughs> you just have to send them back. That's right. <laughs> I love how it was like, oh, it's a database error. And you wonder why we have questions. You make all these mistakes and we're just supposed to say like, yeah, no, this is 100% cool. How is it a database yeah. error? You see, what happened is they sent them intentionally. Right. Potentially, maybe. Well, that would be the only way. Have. Yeah. They got <laughs> caught. Realized, yeah. oopsies. <laughs> yeah, because physically, I don't think, uh, what, a, a database put them in the mailbox? Well, so here's the thing. If you're in the, the, the Secretary of State's office, right, and your job is yeah. to send out information to voters, you would probably have a yeah. list of Voters, yes, addresses. You don't necessarily need to have a list of all the people who can't vote to send mailers to. What are you going to send them a yearly mailer? Hey, remember you, rapscallion, you can't vote. <laughs> like, yeah, it would be odd because when they came to like renew their license plate tab, you would go, "Who are you? <laughs> You're just not on the list." I think There's... that's the way to take care of it, right? Yeah, you'd be like, "This is you don't you don't belong here." You don't go to a club and be like, "Yeah, I'm on the list." Oh, sir, I don't see your name. That's usually what happens. Instead of like, no, yeah. you're actually on the not allowed in list. Yeah. So they don't audit eligibility. Right. Right. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> yes. It's fantastic. Well, I their name that... was on a list. It must be okay. <laughs> I wish that worked when I was uh, like 18, 17. Just go to a club and go, hey, I'm a hot girl and I'm 21. They're like, yeah, come on in. Yeah, we can't say anything about that. Please, welcome. Ladies night. You got to let hot chicks in. <laughs> I'd be like, thank you. June, 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 June. Hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> Hi, I'm also Dave. Hey, there's a lot of guys here. <laughs> yeah, the bouncer's pretty woke. <laughs> I have tits. <laughs> Man, you don't even uh, need a, that. I'll say that all the time. <laughs> every time I every time I shower, I'm like, look at these. Look at these sweater puppies. They sound like a gay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. Yeah. Well, I, I try to work out, and then I stop. These mistakes constantly happen, though, as like we're saying, in, uh, in one direction, mm -hmm. we should say, with uh, the voting is what we're discussing. Well, then the mistakes. The mistakes, the mistakes not the on purposes. The happen into, you know, this one direction. They, the one direction, the mistakes always happen possibly on purpose. CNN and WAPO, that's a very derogatory term for Italians. <laughs> CNN and WAPO slandered Nick Sandman. That's also a derogatory term for Arabs. <laughs> and that was totally a mistake. Yes. Just just a mistake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in 2020, Twitter accidentally suspended the Babylon Bee. Oops. Our bad. Look we thought you were real news. <laughs> oh, crazy. And Jack Dorsey admitted Twitter should have buried the Hunter Biden story. Should not. Oh, the laptop. Look at that. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and let you field this one. Yeah, Trayvon Martin case. I don't know if you guys remember, but NBC fired a producer after they doctored the audio call for the 911 call because if you remember it's like you know he's this person he's this person he's black 
Yeah. And they what they cut out is the 911 operator saying, is he white? Is he Hispanic? Is he black? And he just answered the question, oh, he's black. Wow. They just cut huh. that out. And that was at the very beginning of the the whole kind of big blow up. With, Call that trimming the fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's called making a Hispanic guy into a white guy <laughs> yeah. and also a racist yeah, for no getting one, his butt kicked by a guy <laughs> defending himself. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, they no one they likes descriptors that guy. at 911. I don't even like that guy now. No, nobody likes George Zimmerman. No, nobody does. I'm not saying he's a model citizen. I'm saying in that particular instance, he was defending his life. Well, I feel like he I feel like he's kind of a dick. He is. And sort of <laughs> maybe exacerbated the situation. Well, th- that could be debated, but when, it can be debated. when he made the phone call, he just answered the question. He didn't say yeah, I'm not I'm saying that. A black dude. Yeah, I'm not saying that. That's what he did. Yeah, we can all agree yeah. that that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> I also feel that if you're community watch, maybe you're taking it too seriously. A little bit. You're supposed to be asleep next to a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you should wake up yeah. to is like, did you hear her screaming? And you'd be like, oh, oh I, man. yeah, I, sorry, I had my headphones in. Took, a, took an ambient and started tweeting. Yeah, I'm bad. sorry. I'm, I'm neighborhood watch. <laughs> What do you think this, this is? This is for show. <laughs> you pay me $10 an hour. Do you have a gun? Yeah. I don't even know why they let me have it. That's weird. <laughs> Just a, a, another situation where basic jujitsu and no one has to die. Yeah. Right. I mean, it was the simplest of things. He pulled his gun and shot a guy. <laughs> yeah. That's a, he didn't have to do that. Yeah. If he had just, you know, learned to defend himself against a teenager. Get a guy off the top who was <laughs> yeah. sitting on top of him banging his head in a curb. Then didn't he have another incident later? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He yeah. Did. He's it, not. A, I'm not, not oh no, no! I'm not saying you're defending yeah. him at all. Oh no! Uh, in any way whatsoever. Make sure our audience knows. Like, yeah, yeah. We don't no. like George Zimmerman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. Honestly, I wouldn't even put that on you as a joke. Like, no. I'm not don't saying you dare. that. I'm not. <laughs> do not speak. I'm pretty I'm sure not. he sold the gun too. Really? Yeah. yeah didn't he do he that? Did. He oh, sold he? it on. Pretty, e- yeah. Pretty sure. He's yeah. probably through PayPal. How you like that, PayPal? How's your high horse? Oh, as long as it wasn't misinformation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, ah, scumbags. This next one, you'll really like this. I think this was pretty recent. So the January 6th committee admitted to altering a uh, tweet between Mark Meadows and Jim Jordan. Um, text. And, oh, I'm sorry, a text. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I've got we'll cover for both I've of got you. a case of the Landau's. I'm sorry, okay? I'm contagious. <laughs> So, and this was, I think uh, Schiff brought this up, Representative Schiff. So the select committee created and provided Schiff a graphic quoting from a text message uh, from a lawmaker to Mark Meadows. And so here's the quote. On January 6, 2021, Vice President Mike Pence, as president of the Senate, should call out all electoral votes that he believes are unconstitutional as no electoral votes at all, period, right? And so that's what uh, they used as the graphic saying, you know, the, in the January 6th committee, I mean, you know, sham right. is what I really meant to say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Here's what the original text reads. On January 6, 2021, Vice President Mike Pence, as President of the Senate, should call out all the electoral votes that he believes are unconstitutional as no electoral votes at all, dash, not period, in accordance with guidance from founding father Alexander Hamilton and judicial precedents. No legislative act, wrote Alexander Hamilton in Federalist Number 78, contrary to the Constitution, can be valid. The court in Hubbard v. Lowe reinforced this truth. That an unconstitutional statute is not a law at all, is a proposition no longer open to discussion. So oh. it, there was a lot of context. They inserted a period and also started to attribute it to Jim Jordan when it was actually from a lawyer. Does anybody else need any further information on the January 6th committee to understand that it is absolutely a political circus? Well, I think it's lying? important when you take things and edit them. Yes, and make them say things that they didn't say. The that's slavery you, was okay. That's what you want to do for the... No! The, yeah. <laughs> it was not okay. It's how Mark Furman uh, got OJ guilty. Yes, yes, yes. But here's... It, he threw blood where there was already blood. Yes. <laughs> and he took OJ's own glove and left it at the scene. Yeah. It's like, it's like Mark, there's blood everywhere. Why did yeah, you yeah. add some? Yeah, well. <laughs> I just felt like they needed more It's like adding quick blood. to chocolate milk. <laughs> It's like Norm said, he accidentally spilled a bucket of OJ's DNA. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so look, a committee spokesperson did come out and admit, and this was their, oops, it was an error. In the graphic, the period at the end of that sentence was added inadvertently. Uh, yeah. It wasn't uh. the end of a sentence. And how do you accidentally add a period where one did not exist prior? 
This was obviously on purpose, right? So the January 6th And the vote, following word wasn't capitalized. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It, it's an honest period, mistake when you're... It just goes there. Yes. And it also wasn't... When you're rewriting it. Jordan, it was forwarded by Jim Jordan. They eliminated half of the sentence that they were talking about. They didn't provide any of the context. And they tried to show this as evidence. They admitted it as evidence, and then the media ran with it. And then they come out and say, oops. And But here's the heartfelt apology. The select committee is responsible for and regrets the error. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Why? Because well, you got regret. caught. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and comment? Would you believe that they regret the error? No. Yeah, I don't know what nope. it just says. Tell them to comment. I don't know what you want them to say. <laughs> 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 no idea why. Good. Yeah, comment. Uh, what uh, you think that was on purpose? Of course you do. Yeah. I, no, I don't there, know there are mistakes, and then there are proactive yes. attempts. Yes. To. To mislead. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. It's not a mistake. It's not just a, happens. Oh, gee, is it a I typo? Think, no, you 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 schemed in advance to alter something for a purpose. Yeah, and I, I think you put it in the best way possible, too. It's you capitalize something after a period. <laughs> yes. It, that means you edited it. Yes. <laughs> it's not like, whoops. Poorly. And it's not like you didn't have the whole thing. Yeah. This was evidence turned over. You asked for people's text messages and communications between certain individuals you got it you looked at this and said this sounds worse if i put a period here it's exactly what happened you guys we know how this works when you're trying to talk to you know talk about a story we see it in the news all the time they just end it wherever it's convenient we try to give you both sides we try to give you context we try to give you the other stories but it's like oh that's so obvious why is it that people are fooled by this i don't know this keeps happening well because they want to be that's true i mean if it if it confirms what you already believe then fine you'll believe it but if it goes against it, then that's when you start doing some research. And, and Darren, I mean, this, this didn't used to be quite like this, right? I mean, we weren't quite so gullible, or maybe we just were, and did, there's so many you know, of these things that happen we just don't think about. I ask myself that all the time. I, I wonder if it didn't go on and we didn't know about it. We're yeah. in such an environment of communication now. It's mm-hmm. like, but these people unwittingly create more honesty. Donald Trump's been investigated more than anybody. He's probably the cleanest guy that's ever held that office. It's unbelievable the scrutiny. You think the founding fathers could have undergone any of this? No, no. I mean, these guys were weren't perfect, right? But Nixon. when you're when you're under that microscope all the time, you're going to mind your p's and q's, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, he did eighty percent of the time. <laughs> <laughs> the other twenty percent of the time, he's like, yeah, and the other twenty percent of the time was pretty hilarious. That's That's right. Right. It was made for good comedy. Yeah, <laughs> <It's>, well, <laughs> that was the part I liked. Yes, was the comedy. Yeah. But don't you just assume? And the economy. That was nice, too. Yeah. Wasn't that nice when that you looked good. at your portfolio that and you good. thought, my gracious. I can retire. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Until I couldn't. Right. Like, yeah. my goodness, I can't believe that anything could be worth this much. And then I looked the other day and I was like, nothing. It's not, <laughs> it's not worth it anymore. Yeah, I, I called up, honestly, my stockbroker the other day. It was just a gunshot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you there? Nothing. Hmm. Well, just a guy. He did one of those Monty Pythons out the window. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but don't, don't you guys just assume nowadays you're always on camera? Yes. Everything you write yeah. is going to be seen. Everything you write is. Yeah. I won't that's keep, why I won't keep a paid. diary. Yeah. No. I won't make Venmo comments. Like well, you. that's why I do, because I know they're going to see it. <laughs> that's why I use a soundboard. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't <laughs> say speaks nothing. through technology. <laughs> well, I know that they're going to edit down anything I've ever said, and I'm a comic. So the yeah. way that I look at, too, being a, a comic or even somebody in broad, if there's a microphone in front of me and I'm saying something funny, I assure you it's a joke. Yeah. And if you want to take it as anything else, that's your fault. It's my intention, not your interpretation. Mm, sorry. Yeah. But that's the reality. And, that I mean, you can either stick with that or go like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings because someone told you you should be upset. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, though. It's so stupid. I, 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 we have to get to a better place than this. If, if we stay here, the, I mean, look at that. that. That's a committee hearing, right? Maybe, yeah. maybe nothing happens with that, right? So the, the ramifications, not, not that big. The only thing they're trying to do right now is steer an election in favor of Democrats by painting Donald Trump as a fascist and everybody who supports him as somebody who wants to overthrow the government, right? So, so they're using important. projection. Right, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. That's important, but take it just the next step further. If this works... If we're this easily duped, democracy goes at some point. It just goes because you'll just be lied to enough. Now, you won't know it necessarily. You'll be so lied to that you're like, no, this is 100% true, and we're voting for this person, but democracy is gone. You're just being lied to the entire time. 
And maybe some people feel like that right now, but that's why shows like this exist to be like, hey, guys, this is not fun. This is not okay. No. You can't do this. We, and we try to do it both ways. Like we said with Donald Trump, when he said some stuff we disagreed with, we called him out on it. I think Stephen called him out live on it when we were talking about the guns, when he's like, hey, can't we just take the guns first? He's like, well, no, that's the Second Amendment. You can't just take the guns first and no. come up with a reason later. Yeah. Right? 100%. So you have to be able to do that. Anyway, I'm, I'm beating a dead horse here, but still, it, it, it's important for us to get to a better place in this. I don't know how to do it yet, but people that subscribe to this show, people that are Mug Club people, you are supporting us doing that, so we appreciate it. It seems as though January 6th, though, is fizzling out. Don't you think it's losing all its energy? Oh, yeah. I think yes. it, I don't know it lost gonna... it a while ago, yeah. but they're still trying to push that through, and you know, they're going to try and lead this into an indictment against Trump or something to disqualify him from running for president mm -hmm. um, again in 2024, which, again... I hope he runs just for the fact that it would be hilarious what he says. And then he goes, I was kidding. I'm dropping out and let, you know, you know, Ron DeSantis or whoever else is, you know, kind of the, the front runner with him or right. anything go. I just I just want the comedy back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the way he even got elected, when you think about it, it was just at least when I was talking to all my friends, it was like, all right, this is hilarious. I hope this keeps going. I really like that he's calling everybody out. And then that is it kept going. It was like, yeah. All right, we got it. Seriously, though, who, who do you think it should be? <laughs> for real, for real. Like, you yeah. can't really just have him. And then as it kept narrowing, once it got to Jeb Bush, like, please clap. I was like, I think I think Trump might be the guy. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> I remember Stephen and I, and I won't tell his part of the story, but I was telling him in Michigan when we were up there, I was like, man, I, ugh, I just, I don't know if I can vote for Donald Trump, but I can't vote for Hillary Clinton. I was like, it's kind of like I, I got to vote for Donald Trump because at the time I had seen the documentary on how Donald Trump and this is true he basically destroyed the USFL and I was pissed off at him for that because I was like oh my gosh like this this league had an opportunity to form and he came in and just completely destroyed it with what he was trying to do yeah. and he was a businessman trying to take something can compete with the NFL and it destroyed the league so I didn't like that about him I didn't know a ton of other stuff but I was like he can't be serious He's just running for popularity, like just to get more viewers on The Apprentice or launch his next show, right? I didn't think he was serious like you did. Yeah, I didn't either. And then I was like, well, I can't vote for Hillary because I'm not a Democrat and I hate Hillary, so I'll vote for Donald Trump. I was like, I just didn't realize we were going to come down to this. <laughs> I thought Ted <laughs> and, and Cruz he didn't, or he somebody didn't realize, else would step up, and yeah. nobody did. You didn't realize he'd be the best friend to Christians no. ever. I had no of idea any he would do such a good ever. job. And he doesn't even doesn't even know why. He said, okay, yeah. these people are good to me. I'll be good back to them. Right. He was, he was, I mean, unbelievably conservative in some areas. Yeah. Well, and that's why they want to say, you know, the statement on the bus, grab you by the whatever, and, yeah. you know, that stuff. They Which want to hold that against him. Well, yeah, it makes no sense. You don't. There's no, <laughs> don't there's, there's no handle. I don't no. know what the technique would be. <laughs> no, you want to go. I don't think you've been grabbing those. <laughs> what are you fish hooking? I, I mean, oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> what locker room are you in? <laughs> <laughs> just, just. Speaking of which. <laughs> nice uh, uh, Romans. Uh, 12 2 mm -hmm. has been given uh, an entirely new meaning by one progressive minded church. Either of you have any questions for Miss Pentecost? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, maybe she'll let thank you borrow you. it. When you're older, when you're allowed to wear makeup, <laughs> yeah. we follow a God look, look at the who calls us to not conform to things of this world. And it's so cool that we serve a God that calls us to continue to grow and continue to, to change into something new. Uh, and to not be bound by the ways that the world confines us sometimes, that, that we're supposed to live differently. Oh, boy. Uh, well, yeah. wow. We, uh, um, mm -mm. i probably go to Mug Club. Mm -hmm. I go to Mug Club? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, uh, share the show. Uh, and, uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. We greatly appreciate it. I still use the word tuning in like it's 1975 because I don't, I don't know words. And uh, I don't know what that was, but uh, piss off, YouTube.